Well, that's enough bonding for now. Back to reality. Uh, yeah, finally. You see, Teresa's death eliminates one Mrs. Crane. But there's still the two of us. So I want to be perfectly clear about this, Ivy. I am not moving out of the mansion. Well, neither am I. I am Mrs. Crane, and I fully intend to inherit all of Julian's money and power. Oh, you're going to get a big fat zero on both counts, Rebecca. You were never really married to Julian. He was married to Teresa when the two of you wed. And what about you? You and Julian were divorced when he married Teresa. So you have been out of the loop for a long time now. Ethan's working on that. He's going to show that the uh, divorce wasn't legal. Oh, he can work on it till he's blue in the face. But he isn't going to be able to change the fact that you and Julian severed the knot. You're not going to get anything, Rebecca. I'll make sure of that. How? You don't have anything on me. But I, on the other hand, have plenty on you. So you back off and acknowledge me as the one, the only, the true Mrs. Crane. Or I will expose your little plot to break up Sam and Grace. <laughs> like any sane person would believe you. John's DNA test is going to prove that he is not Grace's son. And then I'm going to tell everyone that you hired David and John to pretend to be the long-lost husband and son. Think about it, Ivy. How is Ethan going to feel about his mother when he finds out how hard you have schemed to get Sam back? Oh, if I were you, I'd really think about this, Ivy. And think hard. And ask yourself one question. Are you willing to lose your son? You know, I'm just trying to envision this little scene. What is Ethan going to say? What is he going to say when he learns about your plot? You can envision all you want, Rebecca. Could he possibly feel the same way about his mother? Oh, I don't think so. In fact, he might even think that you set Teresa up, that maybe everything that happened wasn't her fault. Never. He might even think that you pushed Teresa down the path to hell. Ooh, Ethan is going to hate you. Oh, you are going to lose your precious son. Ethan will never believe you, Rebecca. Oh, I can be very persuasive. And the groundwork has already been laid. Oh, and what about David? I mean, he could turn on you any second. Oh. Ivy, the possibilities are endless. The only question is, are you willing to chance it? Are you willing to risk the love of your son? Hmm. Because all I have to do is say one little word and you lose everything. You lose Sam, you lose Ethan, and you lose the Crane fortune. So here's the bottom line, Ivy. Either you back off, or I am going to take everything that you covet. So what's it going to be, Ivy? You going to back off and give me what's rightfully mine? Oh, one thing I can assure you, Rebecca. You're going to get what's coming to you. Sam. Hello. What? What? Oh, yes, dear God, I'll, I'll, I'll get there as soon as I can. What, trouble? Damn that Teresa. She's hurting Ethan even when she's dead. Even when she... Yes, yes, have my car brought around immediately. I'll meet it out front. Ivy, what is going on? Ethan jumped into the ocean after Teresa. The water is freezing this time of the year. He could die. No. No, he can't die. He's got to marry Gwen. 